सेक्शन सी ए और सी में कितने कॉमन है टू टू थिंग्स आर कॉमन इन ए एंड सी प्रॉबेबिलिटी ए एंड सी इज टू बाय फोर सॉरी ए एंड सी इज वन वन बाय फोर वन थिंग इज कॉमन ए एंड सी में भी टू गर्ल्स सो प्रॉबेबिलिटी ए इंटरसेक्शन सी अपॉन सी इज थ्री बाय फोर सो द रिजल्ट इज वन बाय थ्री next one So 
So a one two minus one plus two is three m one two is one. So minus one. A one three four minus one power four is plus. So we get the value of a one one is minus two. A one two is minus one. A one three is three. Now a two one, a two two, and a two three. A three one, a three two, and a three three. Now m two one leaving second row and first column. M two two leaving second row and second column. M two three second row and third column. Three minus two is one. Two one. A two one minus one q minus one. A two 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 plus two is four into two. A two three two plus three is five. So minus one. So we get the value as minus one two and minus one. Now M three one leaving third row and first column. Third row and first column. Third row, second column. Third row and third column. Three into two, six minus one, five. Nine minus four, five. Three minus eight. A three one, three plus one is four. Three plus two is five. And three plus three is six. So we get as five minus five. Minus five. So a a inverse is one upon determinant of a. A joint of a has elements minus two, minus one, five. After taking transpose, minus one, two, minus five, three, minus one, and minus five. Now we want to find the value of x. So x is a inverse into v b minus one by five minus two minus one three minus one two minus one five minus five minus five into b is thousand fifteen hundred and six hundred minus two into thousand minus one into fifteen hundred. Minus one into thousand. Minus five hundred, minus thousand, and minus fifteen hundred. Five. One hundred five into two, ten and five into three, fifteen. So we get the value of x, y, z as hundred hundred fifty hundred fifty and three hundred. So x is equals to hundred rupees hundred. Y is equals to rupees two hundred and z is equals to rupees. Three hundred is the award money for each value. Other values for the award may be honesty, hard work, regularity, and obedience, etc.
next one is show that semi vertical angle of cone of maximum volume and of given slant height is cos inverse 1 by 3 let this is a cone with radius r height h slant height l write down let r be the radius of base H height and L is a slant height of a cone we know slant height L square is equal to R square plus H square from here R square is L square minus x square let this equation 1 now we know volume of cone is equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h this is the formula for the volume of cone instead of r square l square minus h square into h so pi by 3 l square h minus H cube. Differentiate it with respect to H. dV upon dH volume as V. Pi by 3 derivative of H with respect to H is 1. So L square is constant slant height minus 3 H square. So we get dv upon dhs pi by 3 l square minus 3 h square now for v to be maximum maximum volume hume diya hai given me to dv upon dh ko hum 0 ke equal put karenge l square minus 3 h square is 0 so l square is equals to 3 h square or from here we get value of x square as l square by 3 h is l upon square root of 3. Again differentiate with respect to h. Again differentiate with respect to h. Take the second derivative l square is constant that is 6h minus 6 pi by 3h minus 2 pi h second derivative is negative therefore volume is maximum at h is equals to l upon square root of 3 in triangle abc in right angle triangle ABC cos theta cos is base upon hypotenuse here is theta angle ke saamne wali side kya hogi perpendicular so base is H upon L we have the value of H L upon square root of 3 so that is 1 upon square root of 3 or theta is cos inverse 1 upon square root of 3. Hence the semi vertical angle of the cone of maximum volume is cos inverse 1 upon square root of 3.
upon square root of 1 plus square root of cot x. First we can write cot as cos upon sin. So dx upon square root of cos of x upon sin of x. Limit goes from pi by 6 to pi by 3. Take the LCM here. Square root of sin x plus square root of cos x sin x dx pi by 6 to pi by 3. Let this as equation 1. Now use the property here. Integral of a to b f of x dx a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. Use this property here. a to b f of a plus b pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x upon square root of sine pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x square root of cos pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x dx. Now solve this pi by 6 plus pi by 3. Take the LCM 6 3 into 2 so 3 pi by 6 that is pi by 2 so we get this as pi by 3 to pi by 6 square root of sine pi by 2 minus x sine pi by 2 minus x plus square root of cos pi by 2 minus x sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos of theta so we get this as pi by 3 to pi by 6 sin 90 minus x is cos and cos 90 minus x is sin. Let this as equation 2. Now add 1 and 2. Let this as interval. Integral as i. Add 1 and 2. i plus i is equal to denominator is same. Limits are same. So we are adding these. Sin x plus cos of x. Square root of sin x plus square root of cos of x dx. It will get cancelled. 2i. Integral of 1 is x. Limit goes from pi by 3 to pi by 6. Plus constant of integration. But it is definite. So we will not add constant of integration here. So 2i is equal to pi by 6 minus pi by 3. Take LCM pi minus 2 pi minus pi by 6. So 2i is minus pi by 6 or i is minus pi by 12. So we get the value of i as pi by 12. Limit is from pi by 6 to pi by 3. So here pi by 3 minus pi by 6. So it will be positive sign plus pi by 12. So i has value pi by 12. 